Hey there, hi, it's me, Barb. <laughs> and guess what? I'm at Crumble again. Yes, because it is a mystery week this week. And so there's a mystery cookie, and today is Wednesday, and there's a mystery cookie today. They had so many cookies on Monday. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> it's just, this is like a cookie of cookie weeks. If you're, I think they're just trying to help people going back to school, <laughs> at least in our county. Um, they started school on Monday and today is Wednesday. So this is the mystery cookie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Oh, you all, what a week, two weeks I've had. I tell you between having the highs of my birthday and people just celebrating out of the woodwork and my, and a couple of my friends that are going through a hard time. And one was an ICU and goodness sakes, you know, you never know in life. One minute you might be feeling great and the next minute, poof, you know, your whole body is different or your um, life is completely different, turned upside down and vice versa. And that's the thing that I want to say is that this is the situation for us is that things were so dire and all of a sudden they just turned around and we're like, how did that happen? So you never know what's going to happen in life. You know, sometimes it's a merry-go-round. Sometimes it's a nice walk in the park and sometimes it's a freaking wild roller coaster. So just hang on, hang on, everybody, everybody hang on. Anyway, I tell you, it was so fun on Monday with my friend Denise. And now let's find out what the mystery cookie is. Okay. Okay. Now, Everybody, every, every crumble is doing it a little different from what I understand. Some crumbles are doing it almost every day. Some are just doing it once a week, like uh, one other time besides Monday. And uh, ours is going to be doing it, I think, in Asheville, North Carolina on Friday again. So I'll be back. I'll be back. And I do have an uh, behind the scenes or when Denise and I went into crumble and what happened. So I'll probably air that maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Who knows? Nothing's in stone. But uh, anyway, let's find out what's inside here, okay? So you all, I'm going to let you take a look first. Dee, 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 dee. Can you see it? Oh, you know what that is? That is the lemon crinkle cookie. Now, they had that one pretty recently. I'm guessing they must have had some extra dough. I don't know how they do it. I don't know anything. I just talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know that, don't we? <laughs> okay, let's look at this. This is the lemon crinkle cookie. Ooh, soft powdered sugar on the top. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I use this off and on because I never know when I have new viewers. And um, so my, my other viewers just hang on with me. You know how I just like to chit chat away. Chit chat. Yeah, and for those of you who are watching my reviews, I do take reviewing the cookies pretty seriously, but I do like to chit chat and talk. And so if you don't like chit chatting and, and silliness, then this may not be the channel for you. But and we just like to have a good time. Okay, I'm going to press this in here. So this is the, the, the crumble cookie cutter. Boop, 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 boop. And you just press it in. It's not hard to do. You know, <clears throat> dee, dee, dee. And it makes four little nice thingies. Boop. Boop. And I'm going to do another one because I have been so full of cookies this week. I don't think this girl needs too many more cookies. No, girl can't have enough cookies, can they? Everybody has different things that they enjoy. You know, some people, they, they don't eat sweets, but they eat salty or they, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Bitter or they eat, um, I want to say saucy, <laughs> spicy the brain and and some just really rather have a drink or whatever but here we are I cut them into ace which is really nice if you have quite a few people or at the office you just want to taste a cookie each week or something or I don't know each day of the week start out your day <laughs> okay I'm gonna take a bite let me just show it to you what's inside what it looks like inside so there you have it now I'm gonna tell you before I even bite it is that I had a talk with the the manager Rebecca here at our crumble at Westgate North Carolina and um, I was telling her about about the baking, and um, and she said, yeah, there that the the CEOs at in Utah, Salt Lake City, are very aware of the different altitudes for cookies. And she said that um, <clears throat> the CEO and his cousin, the founders of this, um, I don't know if they're both CEOs or not, but anyway, they they have discussed what they want in their cookie, and I would think that they had. Um, and they really like the idea of having a gooey cookie in the inside. So some of us call it underbaked, some people will call it gooey, some people prefer it, some people don't. Well, that's the same with everything in life. You know, different cookies, different bakeries, some people like them crispy, some people like them hard, some people like them soft. So 
it is intentional. So that's a good thing for us to know because I know some of our viewers have been talking about it. I've talked about it. So, you know, it is what it is and um, it's, it is intentional. So that's a good thing to know. So this one does look a bit gooey inside. Look at that, you all. So um, let's take a bite, right? Okay. This is the lemon crinkle cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is gooey inside. So if you don't like a gooey cookie, this cookie is not for you. It is, what I like about it is that this top part, you know, this part, the, the, the outside of the cookie is a nice little light crunch, very light crunch. The powdered sugar is nice. For me, it doesn't have enough lemon taste. It's not tart enough. When I have a lemon cookie, I'm expecting a little tart. Not out of the, not like a sour patch thing, but a little tart, a little zing. And this has a real light taste of lemon. And then you really just taste the regular crumble cookie dough, you know, crumble cookie, the basic cookie dough. So for me, you take the first bite or two, I mean the first, like if you take a bite, the first two or two or three, you taste lemon and then all of a sudden it, it has a real light taste but it kind of disappears. And you're kind of left with, I don't know, for me, a little artificial taste or something. It's not bad. It's a good, it's a sweet cookie. It's a nice cookie. For me, one out of ten, I would say it's probably a six and a half or a six. The highest I could give it, no, I couldn't give it a seven. I was going to say I could give it a seven. I'd say it's a six for me. And that's not bad out of one out of ten. But um, And you'll see how I rate on my description. And that's the little, when you see the little video, that little arrow, it goes to the description. And I think nowadays they do this little blop of information but when you see the little paragraph just push on that and then you'll see the rest of the the description of what I've written but anyway oh, I got powdered sugar all over my car <laughs> I'll take another bite yeah the fun part for me is the little light crunch in the beginning with the powdered sugar <laughs> but um anyway lemon crinkle cookie is our mystery cookie um in Asheville, North Carolina, and I don't know where the next crumble is close by, but I'll tell you a little secret. I did see someone with a crumble cookie uniform come in and get get some dough and stuff, so I don't know if that's nearby or what was going on with that. I should have asked, but I didn't. But anyway, well, what fun it is to ride in a car to crumble cookies. Anyway, um, and I, you know, we don't need to be doing all the stuff I always do, but now I have a little box, so this will be my ukulele. Crumble cookies, crumble cookies. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you all take good care of yourselves. Hang in there if life is rough. Remember that sometimes life is rough for people, even if they're smiling. And so, you know, as Penny's father used to say, who's my partner of 28 years, her father used to say, you know, sharing a smile doesn't cost you anything. So anyway, you all take good care of yourselves. Be gentle. And uh, until the next time, probably Friday. Well, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Anyway, have a good day. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.